I sat on the bus. I sat on the bus, on my way to school, listening to music, and paying little to no attention to the other students. At one of the stops my mind snapped back to reality. I looked towards the small house. Tommy's house, I thought. A hand slipped through the drapes of the window and waved the bus driver to move on. He's sick, I thought. Paying no large amount of attention to the situation. The day flew by. I watched the local news channel after school, and what I heard paralyzed me. Tommy's entire family was murdered that day by an unknown suspect. After hearing this news, I moved back up to my room and quietly fell asleep. The next day, I sat on the bus. We drove past Tommy's house and the bus driver, unaware of Tommy's family's fate, stopped at his home. As I was about to get up and explain to her what had happened, something caught my eye. A pale hand slipped through the drapes of the window, and waved the bus driver to move on. I sat on the bus, terrified. Dot. Seaweed. My grandmother grew up in the slums of Prohibition era Chicago. Her family lived in a small house near the harbor, and one of her earliest memories was of a particularly hot summer when, seeking respite from the heat, she and her sister discovered a seldom used section of boardwalk near an abandoned warehouse. Every night for several weeks, the two girls would make their way down to the docks and sit together on the edge of the pier as the sun went down. My grandmother vividly, and for a time fondly, recalled the feel of the seaweed between her toes as she and her sister dangled their feet into the murky water. It wasn't until years later that she returned to the pier and found that the warehouse had been demolished. Curious, she made an inquiry with the Department of Planning and Development. Apparently, the warehouse had been owned for a time by the mob, who was using it as a base of operations for a local prostitution racket. It had only been uncovered when an associate began, disposing, of rival hookers by fitting them with concrete shoes and dumping them into the harbor. Investigating officers had recovered nearly two dozen bodies from the waters of a secluded pier nearby. How had the bodies been discovered? A passing fisherman spotted some of the victims' hair floating near the surface of the water, like seaweed. The End